What's up? It's Holy. We're back. <laughs> okay, hold on. What's up? It's Holy, and we're this video is gonna be mad short, but. I know that some people have been asking for this video, so I'm going to do it for y'all real quick. People were asking me how to make sure that your 808s are in key. I'm going to just give you a quick little rundown of like some things that you could do. So before I even get into those tips though, all my beats and kits are going to be 40% off for the rest of this month. So make sure you go to my website. Some people are good at this and some people aren't. You know what I'm saying? There's like a spectrum to this, right? So you're either okay, you're good, or you're just not very good, you know? And some people learn fast, some people don't. So you have to train your ear basically to hear if the 808 is in key or not. These techniques that I'm gonna tell you, you just need to practice. That's all you have to do. You just gotta keep doing them. You'll be like, if, I mean, if it's not working in the beginning, then just keep practicing it and it'll start working. The first way, the first way to do this, very simple. You probably already think about it. Just start with the 808. First, 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 first. I forgot to even think about this. Make sure when you click on an 808, if you're not doing this, most of you probably are doing this, but if you're not doing this, make sure you're going into the little the little, little sound joint, the sound wave. Just just click on the 808. And then go to edit and audio editor, ed aka Edison, and then you just you just you just you just press this flag, go to the tech pitch regions, and then zoom in on it. It can get a little complicated because there can be multiple flags. Like you see how it says G sharp and then C. You wanna you wanna pay attention to the one that takes up the most. So you see you see that G sharp takes up this little space right here, right? That's that's how much it's it's taken up. We don't care about that because that's, that's such a short part of the 808, right? So what we care about is the C because it takes up the whole rest of the 808. Like it's common that the beginning of the 808 is gonna be like a different uh, note or tone than the rest of the 808 that's fine you just need to pay attention to this this longer one so if if it says c then it's already in key right but say that this c was a g sharp then you'd have to go into the settings and then you'd have to go to g sharp yeah, and that's how you would put it in key but since it's on c we don't have to worry about that so you just want to match the flag that takes up the most space to the uh to the actual key and the settings of the 808 so just make sure it's in it's in key or it's tuned so that way you can just match the 808 notes with the bass notes in your melody it's that simple all right so we're gonna figure out the bass notes for this click in a note so first what i do is i put in a note right it's on c it's a regular note like when you click it in then i control up arrow make it an octave higher everybody knows this trick right but if you didn't then now you know so it makes it easier to hear it so you're just gonna move it up an octave or maybe two and then once you're done with that you just put it back down change the 808 let's just do like a regular little spans or something see how, how quick that was and how easy that was just by moving it up an octave So this should sound in key to you. So that's one way to do it. Uh, another way to do it is you can go to FL keys or you can go to Omnisphere or Keyscape or whatever and just like use a piano, that's the idea. And then you just uh, click on the click on the notes that sound good to you. Cause like, FL, I mean, pianos are like the most, I don't know what the word is, like tone correct sound, if that makes sense. Like other sounds like bells and stuff can have tones in it that aren't like true so they can be slight they can sound off key or in omnisphere they could have changed the, the the pitch of the sound and so the notes won't match the notes of the melody that you made so what i suggest is just going to fl keys to keep it simple you know what i'm saying and then just click on the notes so i would go higher up so you click a c okay 
okay so c c sharp sounds good c did not sound good c does i mean d does not sound good d uh d sharp sounded fine And what I usually do is I usually hook up the little MIDI keyboard and then just like run through the keys while the sample's playing and then whichever ones sound good, that's what I know the scale of that. Usually seven notes in a scale unless it's like a pentatonic joint or like whatever, it's like five. But try to find those seven notes. And then once you have them, what I would do is I would drag them here to the start. Uh, let's just do this and then do this and then do that and do this. Or you could just go in the sampler and click them in. I do this, and then I would select them all, Control A, and then stretch them out. And then I would go Control, Control C, Control V to the sampler one, so it doesn't play any sound while you're looking at it. And then you can just go in here. So you can see that our notes already match up with the sampler notes for the 808. So we got the A, G sharp. C sharp, whole lot of C sharps. If I somehow can't find the key with 808s, I've, I mean, I've been doing it for a while, so like I can. Usually, if I can't, then I'll go in FL keys, like I said, I'll usually pull up Keyscape, just cause it's a better sounding piano to me. And I'll plug in the little MIDI keyboard, right? And then I'll just play on the notes until I find which ones sound good. So I'm gonna do that don't care what this is it's titled i'm gonna do that really quick we already know what the notes are i don't remember exactly what the notes are i remember there's like an a and a b all right let me turn it up I'll let you guys even see it. It's really that simple. I would highly recommend getting a little MIDI keyboard. It's just good practice anyway. Yeah, and just, just mess around on the keys till you find out which notes sound good. The last tip, most people know about this it's a application called key finder the link for that will be in the description uh it's an app where you can literally just click on the you just download it go to the the file uh, uh, the files and then click on keyfinder.exe and then all you do is drag in the sample so warsaw open file location drag it in right click on it after you drag it in and then run detailed analysis or control d or whatever and it says a d flat minor so a c sharp minor is this the scale i believe so so i feel let's let's double check all right so these are the notes that we picked out i could be an idiot right here but these are the notes we picked out right so now we're gonna clone this and we're gonna go into piano roll so whatever whatever scale it says d flat minor is c sharp minor all right, it's estimating that key. All right, so now what we do is we go to the, the sample or piano roll, whatever, um, and then you go to minor natural aeolian, and then you drag it to C sharp, and all of the notes match. <laughs> So we did it correctly. All right, so that's good practice in general. I would recommend doing what I did with the piano. You could click it in, you could play it, whatever. And then go to key finder confirm just make sure all right if you see like d flat minor and you like don't know what that is just look it up is that some uh hopefully you guys enjoyed hopefully you guys learned something if you did learn something please make sure you hit that like button go down in the comments tell me what you want to see next and remember that my kits and beats are off are 40 percent off for the rest of this month catch you in the next one <laughs>